Welcome back, my beautiful people from all around the world. Your creepy Uncle Bannock13 is back, baby, doing Challenge Rift 64. It's looking like a Marauder Demon Hunter right now, which is great news for me. It's my main class that, I, that I've been playing the most in Diablo 3. It's the one that I'm most familiar with. So this will be a walk in the park. I'm hoping this is a bit more of a challenge than what we've been subjected to in previous weeks. But hey, you never know with Blizzard. So right now I'm at a stage where I've been playing World of Warcraft since release. So I've been a bit quiet on YouTube. It just takes a lot of effort when you are when you work for a living. And you also have to balance out everything else you do in life. Such as your gaming, spending time with uh, friends and family. So... Once you throw all that stuff in the mix, it's it's very hard to sit down, edit for hours, record, make sure your hair's right and all that sort of crap. It takes a lot of time and effort is what I'm trying to say, but I'm ready to put the effort in. I feel like I've, I've got my wow fix already. I'm kind of at a stage where I'm ready to play the game more casually and just, you know, stop spending every waking spare second that I have in my life for well and I just I'm ready to come back to Diablo 3 and also focus on some console games. Spider-Man the game is out this week and that looks absolutely phenomenal so I'm going to be grabbing that today. Also, anyway, that's pretty much my life in the last week since you guys have last seen me. So, just wanted to catch up real quick. Now, let's log in and have a look what we're dealing with this week. So let's look at the, uh, let's click on the Salamita here. It is a Marauders, a full six piece Marauders Demon Hunter here. And right off the bat, Marauders is definitely great when you're using your sentries and also Cluster Arrow has been the, the primary damage dealer of choice. However, what I can see here is the most important item for a Cluster Arrow build is the Manticore crossbow and this player hasn't got the manticore equipped basically with manticore it reduces the cost of cluster arrow by 50 percent and also adds up to 300 percent damage i believe so even though damage isn't going to be too much of an issue here what is going to be an issue i can tell right off the bat is your hatred regeneration and maintaining hatred we're going to be running out of hatred really quickly and it's going to be pretty hard to regenerate it to, to a sufficient amount where we can keep uh, using cluster arrow pretty frequently. So that's going to be an issue there, definitely. Everything else isn't too bad. I mean, he's got the compass throws with the traveler's pledge there. Wideboard, I'd probably have convention of elements in there. He also has Zoe's secret, which is perfect for this. It definitely reduce, reduces a lot of damage taken. And definitely Bombardier's Rucksack, nice ancient item there, perfect. So give us, it'll give us two additional sentries there. Just the weapon is really going to affect this quite negatively, but we're going to get through. If you're not sure how to do it, if you're running out of time, you've come to the right place. I'll give you a few little hints and tips throughout this challenge rift, and you're going to definitely, definitely succeed in this. Pass it, get your materials, and off you go. Keep on playing your season journey. Can I's Q, we got Calamity. The Cloak of the Gar Wolf and Countess Julia's cameo. So this is, it's not too bad preventing all arcane damage taken. However, arcane damage is pretty easy to avoid, especially as a demon hunter. We're a ranged class, we've got vault, we can vault in and out of situations. So it, it, if it was set up correctly, it, it could be definitely done a lot better. So check out my demon hunter guides, particularly the Marauder slash Natalia ones. They're, they, they're absolutely kill it this is they're a lot better than this setup believe me if you like the demon hunter if you're playing it for the first time and you like what you see check out my demon hunter guides because it'll set you up so much better and you'll be doing jr's 100 and beyond i guarantee you now looking at the skills evasive fire with focus this is our primary way to regenerate our hatred and this is what we're relying on to spam whenever we're down on hatred and need to get it back up so we can keep using cluster arrow which is our primary damage dealer there companion with wolf companion this is going to add some damage when, whenever we use it and also regenerate some hatred which is super important when we come across elite packs so what you want to be doing is just take out enemies around you and save your companion when you come across an elite pack because it'll give you a hatred boost and also a damage boost so definitely handy there vault for a bit of mobility getting out of situations like uh, elemental damage on the floor and we're a ranged class so you want to stay out of melee range don't let enemies hit you because 
wear a demon hunter even though we have zoe's secret belt we take a lot of damage and that's just the way it is when you're a ranged class it makes sense i think sentry definitely want to be putting these uh casting these on the ground as we move through the challenge rift or you can call it the uh greater rift level whatever it is i haven't even looked what 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 rift level we're dealing with but definitely want to use your sentries as we're progressing through you don't need to cast like all three at once so you don't have to aim for five which is because we're going to have the bombardier's rucksack there we can actually have up to five sentries so three plus two additional ones but you don't have to have five up if you're not taking out elite so we want to keep on moving cast a couple one or two is definitely enough you can take out the trash mobs and then once we get to elites then you can cast your five and also aim to have that wolf companion active for a bit of damage increase and a hatred boost as we come across elites but there are some pylons that we can take advantage of and it's not really going to be an issue for a while because it'll give us max hatred for a short amount of time and that's definitely going to give us a bit of a boost at the start but anyway i've spoken too much let's just get through this and then we'll go into the challenge rift and actually you'll know what i'm talking about and reign of vengeance whenever this is up definitely want to use that as well now looking at the passives we've got color of the week ballistics custom engineering and steady aim so even though it's a demon hunter class it's going to be pretty easy for me to to pass this and definitely smash through the time it's not prepared very well like even looking at the um the jewelry here the two rings he's only got one that has a gem a legendary gem which is made of the trapped no legendary gem in in the amulet piece there so definitely not set up very well and the most important piece that would make this shine is that manticore weapon the crossbow so he hasn't got that but nonetheless this is what we are dealing with and that is what i like about challenge rifts the most even though it's not ideal or perfect in setup it's what we are dealing with it's a challenge so let's do it i've spoken enough about the strategy and what we need to do so let's just go into this challenge rift and do it together all right we're in now i cast a couple sentries down here take out a bit of trash and then Hightail it up, use your vault, get this pylon, and now we're going to have maximum resource. Can't spend, uh, you can't waste your resource, and you want to focus on taking out the two nearby elite packs. One's just here. Had to backtrack just a little bit there, avoiding the explosions. Get some more sentries on the floor there, and here's the other elite pack here. So we're going to take them out very, very quickly, and this is our little nice, nifty little boost to the beginning of the challenge rift. So keep in mind that pylon is there, you can just bolt straight to it. Or you can just quickly take out a couple enemies at the start there, and then you've also got those additional sentries set up for maximum damage. And as you can see here, as soon as we use that cluster arrow, our hatred is just gone. So it's very annoying, there's no good hatred regeneration for this challenge rift on this character, but we just have to work with it. And definitely for elite packs here, like I mentioned, save that wolf companion. So there are two elites here. Obviously use Reign of Vengeance whenever available. And then we just use Cluster Arrow. Kind of in waves, you just can't spam it. Because if you spam it, you're going to definitely use up all your hatred. And you're going to struggle. So just keep in mind that, so as you can see, you can just burn through it very easily. But I usually do spam it quite a bit when I come across an elite. I want to take that elite down as soon as I can so I can get those orbs and just keep on moving. And as we're moving through, we'll, we'll keep re replenishing the hatred. <clears throat> so it's a rift difficulty 50. Considering the setup, which is quite a weak setup, I think it's, it's quite a good achievement to get... Uh, Greater Rifts 50 done on this character, particularly with such a low Paragon level as well. So, Demon Hunters, pretty cool class. And the Marauder set is just, is so good. I think that's why it can do a, a Greater Rift 50, even with the setup that it has. Definitely a good set if you optimize it as well. Tweak it the correct way and you'll be flying. I'm not too sure if, the str if it's the strongest set anymore. I haven't played the Demon Hunter for a couple seasons. Uh, I probably will go back to my main class, the Demon Hunter, next season. 
and we'll see what's what. I don't know if the current patches have really changed anything, but I personally think that the Marauder Natalia combination was the strongest last time I played it a few seasons ago. I think it was phenomenal. For my playstyle anyway, that's the good thing about the Demon Hunter. So many strong sets, so many strong builds that you can play. Uh, I think it was a waste of time coming down here, so I've just wasted a few critical seconds, but it's alright. There you are, there's the Elite. And it is quite a large map, so you can pr you don't have to follow my route. I think this is probably the best way to go. And coming into the section down below here, we're going to be coming close. There's another Elite Pack here, and we'll be coming close to popping the Rift Guardian now. So there's a bit of density here. So maybe luck. Luck would play a factor. Like right now, if he popped here, I think we'd get an awesome top 10 time. But I don't think we killed enough trash. It's not going to happen just yet. I really need that Wolf Companion buff right now. And like I said, don't forget to keep your distance. We are a ranged class. You can take a lot of damage and, and die pretty quickly. Even with the damage reduction that we have. So right now, I just got to just... Just got to... Oh, here we go. We've got an elite pack. Beautiful. It's, the Rift Garden's definitely going to pop now. And what I'm going to do is probably save that Wolf Companion buff for when the Rift Guardian pops. Which will be right now. Didn't even need the orbs. So make sure sentries are down on the ground. Wolf Companion, keep your distance. Even though we don't have a Zay Stone of Vengeance legendary gem, that would really increase our damage right now if we were you know, keeping our distance. But anyway, there we go. Another Rift Guardian, another week, another challenge rift done and dusted. And that is how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. I know some people were struggling with the time, but if you follow this guide to a T, you ain't gonna struggle at all. Just remember, keep on moving, keep dumping those sentries on the ground. Don't forget to get to that pylon at the beginning of the challenge rift and really focus on those two elite packs that are nearby. We wanna smash through those two elite packs while we have that buff active, and you can definitely do it easily like you saw me do it, and then just quickly hightail it through the map spamming sentry and also spamming the hell out of cluster arrows so you can take out as much enemy as you possibly can especially those those dense packs it'll give you a nice boost in the beginning and then you just want to you really want to focus from then on once that pollen buff wears off focus on just maintaining that hatred and not wasting too much of it and then using your companion to just boost it back up when you need it again Super easy if you're familiar with the Demon Hunter. If you're not, you might have found it a bit challenging, particularly if you weren't aware that Demon Hunters are quite squishy. So if you're there taking melee damage and you're not moving out, vaulting out when you're taking damage, then you're probably dying and you're getting frustrated. Keep in mind, we're a ranged class. We want to be damaging from a distance and keeping away from enemies. And we want to be preferably killing them before they can come near us anyway. So make sure you use your vault, get out of situations where you're taking damage, keep an eye on your health. If you find yourself losing health, vault on out, get a bit of distance going, and then just use your cluster arrow from there. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to go and buy the new Spider-Man game today, and I'll let you know what I think about that. I'll also be back very, very soon, and I'll probably do like a purchase of the week video where I'll talk about what movie you can watch, what game you can play, and what's the best purchase right now, whether it's Blu-ray, going out to the movies and watching something, or purchasing a game. So I'm going to review some of the wonderful new releases of the week, which include games, movies, and a few other pop culture items, and then I'll recommend my purchase of the week, where you guys and gals should be spending your hard-earned dollars. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. If you don't want to, that's fine, no problem. Come back and visit your creepy damn uncle. That's me.